Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I am going to show you all how I do my poly gel nails. So as you can see, I already did my right hand and my left hand is a mess. I need to do them. So first thing I'm going to show you is this is what I'm going to be using. This is the brand McCart and I did get a kit. It came with their base gel and their top coat and a couple other things. This is the poly gel tool. This is your spatula. Other end is your brush. So the other thing you do need for doing poly gel is going to either be paper forms to form your nails or what I like to use are called dual forms or poppets. And that is what these are. So this is an example, probably easier to see on my right hand. And that is how you form the nails. So you guys, I am not a nail professional. I have been doing my own nails for several years now because I um, have very thin nail beds and I was getting um, burned by nail technicians. So I honestly was starting to have a lot of fear and I just decided to try doing things on my own. I learned a lot here on YouTube. So let's get started. I have prepped my nails. I took my old poly gel off this hand and I pushed my cuticles back and shortened up my natural nail. You do want to start with your natural nails as short as you can tolerate. It is um, better for them. So the first thing you need to do is you're going to be getting um, a set of poppets or nail forms and you need to start figuring out the correct sizes. So um, you know, there's going to be lots of different sizes. There's usually about 10 sizes and you're going to need to figure out if they're small enough or large enough. So this, for instance, is a nail form and I'm sorry guys, these are a little dirty. I have used them. They are reusable. So what you're going to be looking for is you're going to put it on the nail and you need to check the sides to see if there is any exposed nail, if this nail form rocks back and forth, it's probably not the right size. You don't want to see a bunch of exposed nail on one side. You also don't want the forms to be too large. So for instance, this nail form, this is how this nail form fits my index finger. It's a little big, it overhangs but it does fit my middle finger really quite well. The other thing you can do is take a nail file and file them off. Not all nail forms have the same type of edge. Some people have rounded cuticles and some have more square. You can always take a nail file and square these off if your cuticles are more square. This one's gonna work for my middle finger. And then we've got smaller ones, as you can see, obviously not going to fit the correct sizing but this does fit my small pinky and let's see that's too big that's the middle one so this is another one as you can see uh, a little bit of nail showing on my middle finger it's too small however it is perfect for my index finger and actually it works really well for my ring finger as well. So I do tend to use some of the same sizes for a couple of my fingers. Okay, so prepping the nail, like I said, you're going to need to take any old polish off, any old acrylic or uh, gel polish off and push your cuticles back and trim up your cuticles. Try to get any dead skin off as best you can. And you're gonna wanna wash your hands really well. You can dehydrate your nails and take any oils off using rubbing alcohol like I just did. Um, what happens is if you have any of the natural oils, for instance, if you scratched your face or you scratched your hair with these, you would get some sort of natural oils on your skin. And what happens is the poly gel will not adhere because of the oil. So you do need to dehydrate your, your own nails. Um, you can, like I said, do that with rubbing alcohol or I have this product from Jellish. It's called pH Bond. I do use this. I am really hard on my nails, so anything I can do to help the bond <laughs> is, is better. So this is a product you just put on your nail and it dries very quickly. There's no need to use a lamp. It's basically a dehydrator. Like I said, it's a pH Bond. It's got the right pH for your nails. Okay, so with poly gels, you do need to read the instructions. Each manufacturer of poly gel is going to be different. This one, McCart, does suggest that you put a base coat of their base gel on before you put on the poly gel. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I have a very large high watt LED lamp. So I will put this on my nails and cure it for only 30 seconds. 
going to be very careful that you're not getting the gel polish on your cuticle. You don't need a thick layer of the base coat. So very thin coat. You can see I've got some damage from my nails. I am very hard on my nails. All right, I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds in the lamp. So top coat will come after you are done with shaping and polishing and all that. So I'm going to set that aside. I have my spatula here. More importantly, I have my pot of what is called slip. Some of the products come with their own slip. Um, you can always substitute rubbing alcohol and the directions should tell you whether they prefer a 70, 75% rubbing alcohol, 90% rubbing alcohol. Um, and it's oftentimes the percentage of rubbing alcohol does affect how the product works. Um, I do use rubbing alcohol right now. What I have in stock is a 91%. This particular brand suggests using 75% rubbing alcohol. Uh, I don't have that and honestly I've tried it with the 91% it works great so I'm gonna go ahead and use this orange color I'm just feeling the orange I'm really enjoying it the nice thing so what poly gel is is it is a hybrid <clears throat> between acrylic and gel so acrylic is really tough to use it first of all it's a really hardy hard product it's extremely strong way to do your nails um, however there's a real time uh, requirement once you mix uh, the monomer and the powder gel, you really have a very limited amount of time to work that onto the nail, and it takes a lot of years of practice and training to get good at it. Uh, and the thing with gel is, straight gels are very liquid, they move all over, but they don't cure without the LED lamp, whereas the acrylic will start to solidify um, just in the air. So what polygel is, is a mixture of both, kind of the best of both worlds. So let's go ahead we're going to go ahead and find the form that fits my index finger it's this one here i am going to go ahead and just clean it off with a little rubbing alcohol to make sure there's no sort of um, oil or anything on it and let that dry for a second so i am going to do this the super easy lazy way i started forming my nails when I started using poly gel. However, I just realized I wasn't very good at it. And I realized doing it the easy, lazy way actually worked really well for me. So this is the side that goes onto the cuticle. This would be towards the front of the nail. I'm going to just take my poly gel and start to squeeze out a little bit into the poly dual form. And that's all I'm gonna use. That is more than I need, probably. And for this nail, I'm going to go ahead and take my brush, get a little bit of my slip solution, which is rubbing alcohol, push off the rest. And I'm just going to pat this down a little bit because I have kind of a lot on here. So how I do this kind of quick and dirty is I'm going to put it down on my nail about halfway. I'm going to push down and start to slide the dual form forward. So what you're wanting to do also is to make sure you're getting this on straight, <laughs> which I am not. So I don't want an excessive amount of gel, poly gel at the front of my nail. So I have these clips that I purchased off of Wish. And you can, if you're worried, you can pop it off. You can see how I've pushed all the poly gel up into the front. I'm just going to take some slip solution and push that back to show you guys again how this works. Let's get that up in there. You can see it slides around with the slip solution. Here we go again. I'm gonna take it and set it down on my nail and I'm gonna push forward. All right, first thing I'm gonna do, take my Make sure that I'm getting a decent amount of contact. Take my clip and make sure that my dual form is not lifting from my nail. And you can see I've got a pretty significant glob. So I'm going to gently set that down, wet my brush with a slip solution. I'm going to start pulling that poly gel out to form the nail. You do not want a really thick nail. So I'm just going to make sure I'm getting the corner where you get cracks.
And the next thing I'm going to do is check the edges that can be filed off. This is clear. You can see where your cuticle area is. Make sure that you've got poly gel up into your cuticle. I'm going to cure this for 60 seconds. Okay, so this is cured in the lamp for 60 seconds. Now you do need to read the instructions on your poly gel. Know the wattage of your lamp to know how long um, that it will take to cure. For some lamps, it may take two to three minutes. I have a 90 watt LED lamp, so 60 seconds is plenty. So the nail form is on here. All you do is sort of pinch the tip and pop it right off, which is why they're called poppets. So there we go. I will need to shape this, do a lot. I had a lot of excess in here that I'll have to go ahead and unfortunately um, clean up with a nail file, but you can take the uh, inhibition layer off a little rubbing alcohol so it's not so sticky. So it's a bit of a mess, not real happy with the layer I did here. Um, you wanna try to avoid that because all you gotta do is take a nail file and you're gonna have to sand that down. So I will do that at a later point, but just to show you guys, I gotta clean up my edges. I'm gonna have to shorten it. It's too, too long for me, um, but it's a start. So let's go ahead and do the same form will fit onto this finger. So again, I'm going to take my poly gel. I'm gonna go ahead, take a little slip solution, clean it off. Let's make sure there's no oils in that dual form or pop it. Just give it a second to dry. And then I can start squeezing out my poly gel. Now the idea is to kind of start out and figure out how much poly gel to put in your dual form without, you don't want too little and you don't want to waste it and use too much and end up having to shorten down your nails like this one. So it is a lot of trial and error in figuring it out. Ideally, you do not want a thick nail. You can kind of see how thin this one is. Thick nails are not good. It, dual form, the poppets, produce this really nice apex. It's just so easy to form your nails. So let's go ahead and take this. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off this finger just to make sure it is not got any oils on it. Just to make sure I haven't touched it too much with my right hand. Okay, so let that air out a little. Let that alcohol evaporate. So again, I'm gonna go ahead put it about halfway on, push down, and I'm starting to angle it. I don't want all the poly gel to shoot out this way. I want it to go this way. So I'm gonna angle it and then push. Then we need our clip to hold that. You can see the glob at the front of the nail. So I'm gonna set that down, wet my brush, tap off the excess and start forming the nail. Now I gotta check and see what a mess I made here. I'm gonna take my brush, clean that off. And I just wipe it off onto a paper towel that has rubbing alcohol on it. So you can see the dual form is slid forward. It's no problem. I'm just gonna go ahead and gently put it back, put my clip back on it and double check. Nothing here is really bugging me. Really make sure that's thin. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this in the lamp for 60 seconds. All right, everybody, this one is cured. Again, all you do, squeeze it, twist it, pop it off. So got two nails done. Ideally, you don't have this mess here, but as I said before, you guys, I am not a professional at this and you can clean this up. You can do this at home. So I have, again, a paper towel here with lots of isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol on it. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the inhibition layer, wipe that off. I have to clean all this up. You do not want to leave the poly gel up against your cuticle. It causes allergies. So, you know, I'll have to do a little cleanup with my either hand file or I do have a um, 
machine file. So let's go ahead and do the middle finger. I have four of the five nails done, so it's time to do my thumb. I have the most trouble doing my thumbs. I don't know why. You would think it would be pretty easy, but I have a lot of trouble with it. So it's a large nail. For me, the dual form tends to slide around on my nail bed a lot. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean this form off, pop it off, let that air dry. I have literally the most trouble with my thumbnails. So wish me luck, everybody. We're going to give this a whirl. So larger nail, wider nail, need to use a little bit more poly gel. So I'm going to go ahead. Pretty decent bead. Got my, I'm going to go ahead. Because this dual form is so wide, I'm going to start to preform this just to make sure I have enough poly gel on here. Basically pushing it to the sides. There's a lot. You see this? How much? There's a lot. Almost as much as, basically, as wide as that brush is. And I think I'm going to need a little more poly gel. So just going to go ahead and put a little bit right there. 
So again, I'm going to take my poly gel brush, dip it in the slip solution, clean off the excess, and then make sure I've got enough poly gel on this dual form. So I got a lot on this side. I don't have a lot on this side. Still not convinced I've got enough poly gel on here. This is the hard part about learning how to form these is you got to have the right amount, but not too much or you waste it. So I would rather add little beads back into the dual form than realize I'm wasting way too much. Now, what will probably happen is I still will probably be wasting, <laughs> but we're going to see. All right. Not perfect, but again, we're supposed to be doing this sloppy method. So it's in there. All right, so I've got my nail here. I'm going to go ahead, clean it off. I'm going to give it a second to air out, making sure I don't have any natural oils from touching my hands. Let that air out. Let the rubbing alcohol air out and get the glove out of the way. All right, we're going to set her down and start pushing to slide that poly gel. I already like the look of this. Need to get my clip in place quickly. It's a little bit of a struggle on my thumb. Really wants to slide around. Need to make sure that the corners have adequate poly gel. That is a breakage point. But you can also end up with too much. You can check it, take a look at it. Get a better angle. Realize it's quite thick over here. I can push it. All right, you see the problem? You see what I mean about the dual form sliding around and pushing gel everywhere? So I need to pull this gel off and find out if I've got a bubble under the dual form. very well might have a air bubble or under the dual form so i've got it off my cuticle area just trying to clean that up so i need to make sure i don't push the poly gel in the dual form back onto my cuticle area until all this rubbing alcohol evaporates because there will be a bubble forming otherwise the dual form is tipping this way and it's lifting in the back. So I'm okay with it having pushed forward because I'm going to need to push down, refill in that dual form poly gel, gently slide it back. At this point, we are pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and cook that in the microwave, which is, of course, the LED lamp. Hang on. Okay, I actually went ahead and cured this for 90 seconds, was a little concerned about it. I still have a bit of gel that leaked out. I, I have the worst time, you guys, with the dual forms on my thumbnails. So let's go ahead and squeeze, wiggle, pops right off. I'm going to go ahead and take the inhibition layer off. It's a bit of a mess. I'm going to go ahead and go in and clean it up. So All right, I need to go ahead and clean up the cuticles and shape and shorten them. So hang on, everybody. I'm going to work on that and come back.
Well, I just have a very small little cuticle bit on here. I'm going to go ahead and try to clean up some of the poly gel from around my cuticles. It's going to be a little hard for you guys to see. Really important not to leave product on your cuticles. Really leads to a lot of allergies and issues. It's really bad for your cuticles. So I will very slowly work on this. Clean the nail off and show you guys. We are starting to get that area cleaned off. I will go ahead and do these nails to show you guys how I do that. See how it's starting to look. As you know, I had poly gel overruns at the cuticles on a lot of these, so that is what I'm doing. There's some right there. We're going to clean that off. I need to finish sh shortening and shaping, but right now you're going to kind of see how I'm doing this. <laughs> it's hard to not like have the pinky get in the way, y'all. Use my Nail drill is a stand. This bit is absolutely one of my most favorite. It is so gentle, works so well. All right, we are getting there. Got a little more cleanup to do, got a shape. Obviously, this is just. Way too long, way too funny looking and long for me. As you can see, they need to be shorter, but y'all, honestly, poly gel is not that hard to do. Uh, definitely takes a little practice, but realize that you're probably gonna spend some time, um, you know, fixing your nails because like me, I used way too much poly gel here and have way too long a nail for my happiness. But, um, you know, watch the cuticle, clean the cuticle area up. I'm going to go ahead and do that and then come back and show you guys my finished nails. I need to finish cleaning up this one as well. So hang on, everybody. I will be back to show you my finished left hand. Okay. All right, everybody I'm back. I have started my initial shaping. Um, normally I would be following up with either a base gel in a color another color polish or if i want to keep this natural look just seal it off with some top coat however uh knowing myself i probably will continue to file on these for another day or two so i generally do not seal them with a top coat um until i'm i'm kind of finally satisfied with the length and the shape and i do nitpick a little so Anyway, this is what I got. Again, I used the McCart Nail Extension Gel. Uh, very pleased with this company. Very, very pleased with it. So uh, final thing I need to do is we're going to take some cuticle oil because all that rubbing alcohol is so hard on the skin. Take some cuticle oil, let that soak in. I always just massage it into the entire hand and nails transfer it onto the other hand. Really important in the winter time, but take care of those cuticles and your nails will grow really nice. So thanks guys. I would love to hear what you think of this. Um, like I said, I'm going to keep shaping on these and then eventually I will, I think I'll keep this color and just go ahead and top them off. But I do like to nitpick and I do like to keep kind of, uh, <laughs> kind of go ahead and shaping and shortening and getting everything to the way I like it for a day or two. So yeah, I really appreciate you guys watching this. Like I said, I am not a professional nail person. I am uh, at home uh, do it yourself or as far as nails go. Unfortunately, I've had just a lot of really bad experiences in the nail salons near me. I honestly, you guys, I, I just can't do it. I can't go in and have somebody work on my nails. I have been burned time and time again. I've been cut. I've been burned. And when you're getting, it gets hot and you jerk your hand away. Oftentimes you get, you get cut that way. So I just do it myself at my own pace. And you guys, it's not hard to learn. Just watching videos such as what I just made for you guys. It kind of shows you exactly uh, some of the do's and don'ts. And uh, yeah, let me know. I don't know, guys. I'm still working on my shape and my length, but... <laughs> That's what they look like. You don't want them to be super thick. 
uh, I started off doing these and I was getting them super thick. So I have learned to get them quite a bit thicker and, or uh, thinner, I'm sorry. And uh, really happy with this. So really appreciate it, you guys. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you got questions. Um, yeah, appreciate your time so much. Hope you guys are having a great week. And uh, shout out to McCart. Really appreciate their products. I do have, you guys, a code down below in the description on this. You can get a discount with my code. So it is an affiliate link. Um, yeah, check it out. It's worth getting the discount, you guys. And they always have something on sale. They always have a lot of stuff on sale. So you can get uh, shop their sales and, and uh, stock up your own supply. So, all right, guys. Thanks so much. I will see y'all on my next video. Bye, everybody.